BYU TV's Nine Years to Neptune puts puppets and their puppeteer performers center stage for a comedy adventure set in outer space. The show introduces colorful characters adjusting to life in the cosmos, making the show required filmmakers and puppeteers to find new ways of working together on set. So I'm Tyler McKellar, this is Peter McKellar, we're brothers, and we are showrunners, directors, and writers of Nine Years to Neptune. It's a sitcom, <laughs> hopefully there's laughs. All the laughter makes it a sitcom. <laughs> All the laughter makes it a sitcom. It's definitely written to be a, essentially a workplace drama that just so happens to be in space and just so happens to involve puppets. We reached out for a puppeteer and were put in contact with a brilliant gentleman named Dallin Blankenship. He was the one who brought the puppets literally to life through felt. Puppets are made of lots of different things. But these particular kind of puppets, you know, the Muppet style puppets, they're mostly made from foam and fur or fabric. I mean, all of these kind of puppets, they're, you build like a foam armature and then you cover that in fabric. They have to be functioning beings <laughs> that can take abuse over the course of a season. I mean, they get banged into things, they have different wardrobes that are put on them and they rotate through. There's all sorts of actions they take, they're running. So it's, it's a small miracle that they stand up to a season uh, worth of abuse. Certainly everything is different with puppets. I mean, the, the set that we're on now, for starters, is raised four feet off the ground. We've made everything on a platform, elevated, so that eventually, within the next week or so, we're going to be cutting in trenches so that our puppeteers can be able to get down to the trenches and put the puppets on their hand to be level with the human character that's on the spaceship. So on Nine Years to Neptune, I am the director of photography. The director of photography is in charge of the camera work and in charge of the lensing and the camera placement. Working with puppets is a new thing for me. I've never done that before. So this was kind of a, a unique opportunity to come in and try something different and something new. You know, one of the tougher things is with every puppet comes a person underneath that puppet that has to operate it. Crouch behind this counter hide underneath this table. But it's a learning curve that the crew has really picked up on and has been just great about going, well, we're used to setting up shots for this. With humans, you can't really do that. You need to you know, adjust it in a specific way. The whole cast was very good at like helping the crew get a better shot. Because with a puppet, there's so many limitations. And so when somebody's like, hey, have the puppet come up to the desk, pick up the phone. It's like, you want the puppet to do what? You want them to pick up a phone? Puppets don't do that. You can't just go buy a cell phone that one of our characters use. You have to go just buy a case and build it out of foam or make it as light as possible. So we've actually gutted everything or made everything out of foam as much as you can. And then the other thing is that we, we start to rod stuff just like you would a puppet. We shot two cameras the majority of the time. Shooting two cameras is always challenging, even with humans and people that can actually move and walk and carry things. Lots of times we had to actually not shoot with our second camera because there was just no way to hide puppeteers for two different angles. When you're looking at your, you bring up your puppet and you, the monitor you have below you, is what the camera is seeing. If you physically turn left, your character is turning to the right in front of you. And that is a brain switch that takes some a lot of practice. We, you know, we have trenches and pits that we have open that we get into, and we're very close, very close quarters, you know, like everybody's going on top of each other. There's certain scenes where there is no pit and we have to lay on the floor or we're laying on a rolly, you know, something that helps us move and get the puppet across the screen because your arm can only go so far. In the main bridge, there are sections of the floor that have been taken out so we get to stand underneath, but even for that, there are still positions where we're having to lean out really far, stick our arms out in uncomfortable ways, um, putting the puppet on our non-dominant hand, sitting or crouching, kneeling, lunging, sometimes doing squats for about 45 minutes. It's physically taxing. What I did not realize was about to be so painful uh, is this muscle right across here. You see after a take, I'll bring my arm down and this vein right here will be out here and throbbing and people are like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, that's just what it do. Well, I think the puppeteers do a fantastic job at bringing all of them to life as soon as they put their hand in them. And then I just treat them like I would any other person. The thing about acting with puppets that I wasn't expecting, I guess, as soon as they put that their hand in that puppet, that puppet just comes to life. And I forget that they can't like see through the eyes, you know? 
We'll be sitting before a take and I'll make eye contact with one of the puppets and I'll smile at them because I, because it just feels, they feel so alive. I didn't know most of the puppeteers coming into this, but like we all kind of speak a similar language. Most of the production had never shot puppets before. A lot of the puppeteers hadn't done this kind of filming before. It was really a learning curve for everybody. So there was frustration, but everybody was getting it at the same time. And, and we were all working towards a similar goal. You know, we like went to war together almost. We like really fought for this thing to happen. I think the message in this show is it's definitely camaraderie and learning to work with people who are a lot different than you. Even though we're all so opposite, we have to learn to pull together to, you know, make the mission work. It all looks so effortless on screen, but that's thanks to cast and crew working through the challenges puppets bring to the nine years to Neptune soundstage. Watch it by tuning in or using our free BYU TV app to enjoy anytime. See you next time, insiders.